Hello and welcome to this interesting video on creating a waterfall chart. So the water flows from top to bottom and so does our chart which actually has some positive values. This is a budget of a family which has some incomes, a monthly income from various sources and then expenses and then the net result is whatever is left at the end of the month which is shown on the right hand side in the gray color. So let's get started in building a chart like this which is called a waterfall chart. Waterfall chart can be created by using these two packages. I'm using the package called waterfalls and then the package called ggplot2. So if I run both these commands, packages are loaded into our memory and we can start coding the next steps. So the next step would be to create some dummy data. So using these three commands, I can create some data which has six rows of data and two columns, X and Y columns. You can see that it has some positive values and some negative values. Now it's very easy to create the waterfall chart because we have the waterfalls package loaded. All we need to do is just say waterfalls and give the data source name. It automatically knows that there's um, a text value and then there is a numerical value. So numerical value has been plotted. And on the x-axis we have the, the categories or A, B, C, D as we created six rows. So you can see that the positive values are being shown in green or blue colored and then the negative values are being shown in the red color and the balance can also be shown on on the screen so if you see that a b c had positive values and then d e f had negative values now let's start customizing this chart a bit further and we can use some commands from waterfall package and then we can also use the commands from ggplot2 package because it's a ggplot2 object. So here is our first command. We're using the waterfall command and then saying the data frame is df or the data is coming from df. And second one is the rectangle width which is 0.4 in this case. You can move it up or down. And the next thing is the calculate the total whether you want to calculate the total value remaining. Yes, we want to. Line type would be 1. So we want to define the line type as 1. And fill by sign equals false. That means we don't want to color it based on the, on the positive or the negative values. And then I'm saying fill colors are from 2 to 7. So these are the internal colors which are available in waterfall. We can also change few more values. We can set the total rectangle color as gray. So the color of the remaining values uh, rectangle would be gray. And then we want to see the text as red text and there won't be any borders around the rectangle. So if I have this command and if I add a print statement, this is what we get. So you can see that the colors are different because we said it to be ranging from color number 2 to color number 7. Rectangular width is also 0 0.4 and the calculate total has created a gray colored box and with a red text on that and this is the value remaining. You can see that in this chart we have some incoming values or the incomes. So it is taking it up and when it reaches top the waterfall starts and we start spending it and then we are left with the, the remaining value which is around 3000 in this case. So this is what a waterfall chart is. As I said in the beginning that this is a ggplot2 object. So I can run this with a ggplot2 theme as well. So theme bw is a ggplot theme. Now you can see that the chart has been transformed and it's behaving like a ggplot2 object. Now let me create another example and in this case we want to use another package called stringer just to manipulate some of the strings. And here is our data set. I want to create a data which is about a household monthly expense. We have some monthly sources of income like monthly income, the share income and the fixed deposit income and then we have some expenses like rental expenses, grocery expenses and other expenses. And we and here is the command to create the actual chart. So using the data source dt which we created, again we are saying we want to calculate the totals and the width of the rectangle, the line type is different now 
and in this case I'm saying fill colors are these colors and I've defined these colors which are like one two three four five six seven different colors to represent each bar and then the total rectangular column or the total rectangle would be colored in gray color and some more customization using the theme classic and then we are defining the, the labels, the title, subtitle and the caption and after that let's run the script and this is what we get so the chart looks okay we can see that it's all the positive values are being shown and the negative values are being shown but we can notice two problems in this one one is that these numbers are being shown in a scientific notation which we obviously don't want and the second thing is that these labels on the x-axis are too clumsy because they're too big so we would like to wrap them up so let's start fixing this one by one so the first thing is this options ski pen equals 999 and if I run this command and if I run the chart again you would see what happens now you can see that those scientific notations are gone and we can get the actual values okay now is the time to fix the long strings and by using the stringer package we can manipulate our strings in such a way so that they start wrapping up and to do that we would need this scale x discrete and in the labels we are running a function so it's a function open brackets x and then in the, in the function all we need to do is wrap the, the text so saying stringer package string wrap command and then whatever is the incoming value we'll wrap it up after fifth character so but the stringer package is a bit smart it knows when to wrap it up so it won't break a single word into two just because we said that uh, wrap it up after five so you can see the result is a beautiful chart with nice wrapping and we can see that it's wrapped up in a more sensible way so here is the final chart and you can see that all the values are being shown nicely and the remaining values are also being shown so the balance is 80,000 which we are left after one month after getting all the incomes and after accounting for all the expenses so I hope you found this information useful and practical thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one